There's not much options or choices when it comes to direct particle rendering in 3D Studio Max. With subscription drop 2 of Thinking Particle 6, you finally get a really powerful option to direct particle rendering. Subscription Drop 2 offers an atmospheric effect that allows you to directly render particles as volumetric effect. Before we do this, let me just explain how we set up the scene and how the scene looks like. So we have this dummy object that moves through the particles and we just have a simple wind force that uh, creates this little uh, galaxy-like effect. When you look close, you will see that the center of our galaxy here is hotter than the outside. This is achieved by measuring the distance to the dummy object that we move around. So we get this nice temperature fall off. Here's the setup in Thinking Particles. First, we create the particles. We do that with a simple position born where we feed in the position of the dummy object. And we feed in also an initial temperature for a particle. Because our smoke renderer is temperature based, you can feed in a temperature per particle. Then we assign the forces. That actually creates the little whirl effect we have here. Keep in mind, this is not a fluid system. This is just a plain vanilla particle effect. Then we take care of the cool down effect by distance. We do that uh, by measuring the distance between the dummy object and each individual particle. We use the distance operator for that. And then we feed in the calculated temperature into our data channel. We store that per particle. This temperature information stored in each individual particle is used by our smoke render effect to render the image. Thinking Particle Subscription Drop 2 comes with a really powerful renderer that is supported by the Scanline Renderer, Final Render, or any compatible third-party renderer. Let's start the rendering. As you can see, the rendering is really efficient and fast. Every particle is rendered as a volumetric effect. Let's move forward in time to steer up the particles a little bit and render again. You can see you get fast renderings and you see the result instantly. It's a really great way to directly render particles in Thinking Particle 6. Let's move a little bit further and do another rendering and you will see just so we will have a visualization of our particles in space. Again, it depends on the density of the particles, the temperature of the particles and other settings you can adjust in our atmospheric renderer effect. Thank you for watching this video and please check out our other videos as well about Subscription Drop 2 where we explain our Smoke Fluid Solver and other new features we have with Subscription Drop 2.